and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is all about getting dressed in the 1940s for a night out, specifically for a date night out. If I were actually living in the 1940s, this is exactly what I'd look like prior to my date. Reading a romantic book, eating Oreos, which came out in 1912 by the way, dreaming of my date and calling a friend. have all the historically accurate products that you'd find in the 1940s, I do have some. Pond's Cold Cream, which first came out in 1905, an authentic brush and mirror set from the 1940s, and Chanel No. 5, which made its debut in 1921. makeup was meant to be very natural looking, and a red lip was the go-to color. It symbolized victory. When it comes to the classic 1940s hairstyles, well, let's just say I'm still learning and practicing off camera, <laughs> but I thought a simple curl would work nicely. I bet you'll never guess what I'm doing here. Well, apparently I didn't have much money back in the 1940s, so I'm making my own shoulder puffs. Yes, you heard that correctly. <laughs> shoulder puffs or shoulder pads extended the shoulder line out past the edge of the natural shoulder. This was a very common look during this time. on my 1940s wardrobe, but I thought this dress would work nicely for my night out. I have a whole video dedicated to getting dressed in the 1940s, which I will link down below. But a full coverage bra, girdle, slip, and stockings were common undergarments in the 1940s. Well, it's time to put my makeshift shoulder puffs to the test. without the classic Mary Jane style shoe and a pair of gloves. Now, for this video, I should have had a beautiful knee-length white wool coat, but sadly, that got lost in the mail somewhere in the state of Tennessee. <laughs> but thankfully, I do have a dressy wool coat that worked nicely. Most coats were made from wool in the 1940s. 
And here is my completed look, shoulder puffs and all. It's time for my date. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe for new content every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Florida time. See you in my next one.